literally everything has gone wrong while I've been trying to review this figure. So y'all better appreciate this review if you watch it because I almost quit like 10 times. What the heck is up you guys, Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review and this time we're going to be taking a look at the Figurize Standard Plastic Model Kit Krillin by Bandai. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now of course before we get into the figure we got to start with that sexy packaging and I got to say it's just something standard. It's a box with a whole bunch of parts in it but um, it looks cool as you guys can see. You got a cool image of Krillin right there. Krillin in 18 right there. Design of the arm right there. Plastic model kit Krillin. Figure out standard up there. A whole bunch of stuff on the top. Uh, other images of other characters they've made. Then let me flip this around as you guys can hear the parts in there. You got a little bio on Krillin. The way the arms and stuff are made. 17, 18. Vegeta and Goku that's cool all this warning stuff that doesn't matter then of course at the bottom you got a whole lot more images which are pretty cool I love how the remote is black right there and that's the complete opposite of what it looks like anyway I'll show that later cool image of Krillin right here on the side figure out standard and then of course he's right there on the bottom but a sticker covers that and then plastic model kit so box looks cool nothing special but uh i really do like the design of these packages for some reason i don't know why but with that said that doesn't matter let's go ahead and get into the figure itself now first things first i'm going to answer the two questions that everyone wants to know he stands right at five inches as you guys can see to the top of his head exactly five inches Yes, he goes in scale with SH Figure Arts, and I will show that later. No, I cannot show him in scale or how he is size-wise compared to the SH Figure Arts Krillin because I no longer have it. I sold that one to buy this one, so I can't show that to you guys, but I will be showing him, of course, with some other SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z figures. Now that being said, it's time to go ahead and take a look at that articulation and his head can look up about that much, which is fairly decent. Not a lot, but I mean, it's better than nothing down that much, which is really good. I dig that. He does have head tilt just a little bit. You can't really move his neck around much. You can move it forward and back, but not really left and right. His arms go up about that much, which is really good. They do have a swivel right here. You can bend them that much, which is awesome. His arms aren't as restricted by the gauntlets as much as they are. I said gauntlets, wristbands, as much as they are with the SH figure arts. You can move those around a little bit more freely on this one, which I like. He does have a good diaphragm joint, as you guys can see. He can bend back that much, forward this much. He can turn however you want at the waist. This piece right here is a pain but it just hooks on like that and like literally every time you touch it it's gonna come off so really what i'm planning to do is get some kind of version of this from the sh figure arts and just replacing this part entirely because i cannot stand that but anyway i'm gonna take this off because i know it's gonna fall off again while i'm showing his articulation but um his foot goes forward that much both of them go out about that much which is really good actually even more than that so yeah that is awesome he does have a little bit of a swivel built in there not as much but he does also have the drop down method foot goes back about that much which is good he does have I want to say double jointed knees I don't know if it's a double jointed but it definitely works like they're double jointed so he doesn't have a swivel at the gauntlet but um his foot can go pretty much however you want it to down about that much up about that much and he does not unfortunately have a toe hinge but still definitely passable or passable and um I will say the articulation on this guy is really good the only thing I hate is this piece right here and other than that, I would say the articulation is about a 9 out of 10. Now for accessories, he comes with three heads, unlike most of the figurized figures that only come with two. And as you guys can see, he comes with a normal looking face and a pair of fist hands, which every Dragon Ball Z figure needs, of course. And for other hands, he comes with two hands for holding his remote, which I'll show in just a second. They look all right, I suppose. Nothing special about them, but they work. And he comes with two blasting hands, or hands for his Destructo Disc. So, I mean, they're not the best looking, but they work, which is pretty much all that matters. For heads, he comes with his 
scared head or the face that he makes when Android 18 kisses him. And if it looks weird, it's because I mark it in the eyes simply because I hated that extra black on the side. But I also hate the way this looks, but it does look better than that white. So, I don't know, I'm kind of in between. I might send this to a customizer to get these eyes fixed. But, yeah, anyway, that's one of them. And, of course, he comes with a yelling, screaming head, charging up, whatever. And as you guys can see on this one, the eye broke right out of the plastic. So, it looks kind of weird. But, I mean, still works. And I'm not going to do anything to it. Now, for the remote that he comes with, this thing, as you guys can see, is a piece of crap. They didn't even mold it gray like it shows on that picture. It's just white. And this piece right here that you see on it where the button is, nothing more than a sticker. So, I don't know. This thing's a piece of junk. Luckily, I still got the one from the SH Figure Arts. So, I'll be using that one. Now, for Blast Effects, he comes with this one, which is his technique that he used against the Cybermen, I believe. It's like four different parts and you just take them off and put them together as you guys can see. But I mean, it's cool. I don't really like these plastic effects because they feel so fragile. But the next one I'm going to show is actually pretty awesome. Now this looks okay, like I said, but that's about it. And this, this is what I dig. The Destructo Disc. I don't know what it is, but something about this looks awesome, and it is way better than the SH Figure Arts. I mean, it actually looks like the Destructo Disc, and you have a piece that connects to his hand. You can take that off if you want, but um, I have it connected just in case I have him holding it, but you can also plug a stand into it and have the stand holding it for him, and I really dig that. That's one thing I like. This is probably the best effect piece that I've seen from Figure Eyes. But uh, he also comes with a stand, which I'm not going to show because it's absolutely terrible and it's useless. So, um, move right along to some size comparisons. Now, for some size comparisons, here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Battle Damage 2.0 Gohan and the SH Figure Arts Warrior Awakening Goku. And as you guys can see, he's much shorter than Goku, but a little bit taller than Gohan, which is perfect. Next up here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Yamcha and of course the SH Figure Arts Customized 2.0 Goku that I just got recently. Next up here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Cyberman and the Mighty Morphin Powered Head Emperor Frieza. And just for those who want to know, here he is standing next to Nappa. Now for my final thoughts on this guy, I gotta say, if you have the SH Figure Arts, you don't need it. But if you don't have the SH Figure Arts, you're starving to get a Krillin that goes in scale with your Dragon Ball Z figures, and you don't feel like waiting on Bandai to release a 2.0 or another version of Krillin, this is just the way to go. I mean, it looks really good. The only issues I have with this figure are the eyes. I can't stand how they look kind of weird. I mean, I think if you pose it right, they'll be okay. But like I said, for mine, I actually outlined that in black. So it didn't look like he had specks of white on his face. And the number one issue I have with it, this thing right here, this is a pain. I just, oh my God, I hate this thing. From the moment I pulled it out of the package, or actually from the moment I saw a review on it and I saw this, I could already tell it was going to be a pain because in the reviews I saw this thing was falling off and I had the same issue. But um, other than that, these right here, these pieces, this one and this one are actually stickers. They go on pretty easy. You're going to have to push on them constantly to make sure that they stay on. Some people, I mean, if you want, you can even like use the glue stick and put some glue on the back of it and glue them on. I should have done that, which I probably will if they start to come off. But um, for the most part, this figure is dope. It works. Everything works. It fits in scale. For the most part, it looks nice. I mean, you do have... A few issues that show it's a model kit, like um, these cracks right here, and of course these little pieces from when you tear it off the plastic, but I mean, if you're not bothered by that, I highly recommend this figure. You might as well pick it up. It's just, if you don't want to spend, I don't know what Krillin goes for. I sold mine for like 120 but I think he's even more than that. So honestly, I do recommend it. It's a nice figure. If I had to rate it, I would rate it an 8 out of 10. Another thing that it's not necessarily an issue, but it's just something to know. When you turn it, I'm sure you, of course that was going to happen. But um, you guys can hear like the plastic in there and it does feel a little bit flimsy. Like this figure almost feels like glass. Like if you drop it from too far, it's just going to shatter. Like if I throw this thing out of my window, it's going to be in a million pieces. So, um, yeah, it's just a little something to note. It's not necessarily a big problem, but, um, 
cool figure like i said highly recommend it hope you guys like my review of it if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on everything you see listed in the description below as always animated heroes this was probably one of my hardest reviews because nothing wanted to work and this figure was getting on my nerves but um anyway animated heroes out peace